Welcome back, everybody. It's time for another Booster Cracking Sunday. Let's lock this thing down. Today we've got some Force of Will. This is the... What is this one? Gosh, I don't even remember. Moon Priestess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moon Priestess returns. So another one of these Force of Will sets. They're pretty neat. We'll crack this thing open, find some cool cards for sure. And we've also got... A nice little Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster Pack to open up. Yeah, I finally broke down and bought myself one. So we'll open it at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll see if we can't get something good. Alright, let's slice this thing open with our Jirachi pin here. I almost stabbed myself. That was lovely. It's raining outside right now, so hopefully you guys can't hear that on the camera. And I'm just going to try to do this video pretty quickly here. I have run out of time this weekend for filming and editing and everything. So no face cam again today, unfortunately. Uh, maybe next week we'll get it cranking again. But uh, yeah, we'll do half this box here and do the next half next week, I guess. I don't even know. Uh, so yeah, we'll just cut this thing however we feel like and go from there. All right, so we got half the box here that up a little bit and we'll start cranking into these things and they got pull tabs making it a little bit easier now I don't really remember I have to do my research before doing this video which ones are of any value so I think the rule here this time is if it's over three dollars dollars I will put the price and if not we won't worry about it nice yog soft a dark myth I love this set I, I've seen people open it I thought it was really cool because it's got a bunch of like love crafting stuff and I'm a big fan of that so it's got some really neat creatures in here and I think you just saw there's actually where'd it go call of Cthulhu there you go love crafting stuff all right so what do we got here flame of the outer world so cool so yog soth sothothos yog sothothos is our super rare or secret rare however these go I forget and then we've got just a rare flame of the outer world and a Magic Stone of the Wind and yeah the rest I believe are just uncommons so the rares can't open this are in the middle of the pack I don't know why I can't open that one so the rares are in the middle of the pack for these which is interesting not a fan of that but you know whatever so we'll go through these try to go through these pretty quickly here all right Magnus of the Holy Wind uh, super rare secret rare and then we've got our rare Apollo break moon blast can't open these these tabs won't work I want these tabs work that's ridiculous What's the point in having tabs if you can't use them to open the pack? I don't get it. Yellow sign, crime punishment. All right, we've got a rare I the pilot. Okay, sure. Magic Stone of Darkness, Organia, Eden. Okay. All right, well, that one worked at least, so that's good. All right, let's see what we get in this thing. Sweet Rose, Total Eclipse, Joyful Bird, Waking the End as our rare. And the stones, we keep getting the stone in like every single one. Oh my gosh, they won't rip on the tab. My luck with opening these booster packs has been horrendous lately. Little Aladdin looking guy there at the front. We got Yin Mage of the Increscent. That's just a common. Okay, Little Prince as our secret rare, or super rare. And a Moon Lance. Just busting it open any way I can now at this point. There we go. Keep getting Call of Cthulhu. And we got Etna the Snow Queen as our secret rare. Sweet. And the Apollo Break Moon Blast again. Oh, 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 there we go. All right, Sweet Rose. Oh, yeah, look at that Black Goat. That's kind of like the, another Cthulhu guy uh, from... Oh, what's the story? I can't remember the story. Oh, well. Art of Sinbad. Glimpse of Kaguga is a rare. And then a Magic Stone of Moonlight rare. Pretty cool. Next pack. Got here, got these like Aladdin guys, the mil just the Milky Way, that's funny. Uh, Shining Trapostahedron was a rare. And looks like a secret, secret rare of Little Red the Pure Stone, cool. 
That one actually might be one of the ones that have like different color stones to them, I believe. Like you can get different variants of it and they're all of different uh, rarity. I gotta look that up. That one might have some interesting value to it though. Okay, uh, Campanella, the Milky Way Moon is our super rare. And the Winged Lady, ooh, that's cool looking. All right, what do we got next here? Alkalite, Familiar, Movable Bird. Whoa, Blazer, the Eater of Dimensions. Whoa, focus, focus. That looks pretty sweet. And Giovanni, the Lonely Child. Okay. Whoa, where is my focus? There we go. Speaker of Creation. Flying Carpet. He is Aladdin. Oh my gosh, look at that. And we've got Jabal. Apostle Creation as our rare. Okay, that's an interesting one. Whoa, we're missing stuff. Split Heaven and Earth. I've heard that's a pretty good card. Wise one of the winds. Uncommon, uncommon. All right. What's this one got in store for us? Art of Sinbad, Survivor, Moonglow Bird. We've got Tijin, the, the Spirit of the Lamp. And we've got Moons of Darkness. Oh, yeah, these are just okay. Just the uncommons. Throws me off that we don't get the rares in the back. All right. One more Aladdin's Lamp as our rare. Pretty cool. All right, we're cranking through these things. That's good. Glyph, Spawner, Pilot of the Universe, and we got Alice, the Guardian of Dimensions. Pretty cool card as our rare. Crack it open. Laser, the Milky Way, Open Sesame, Crown of Punishment, Glyph in the Wall. Ooh, we've got Shub Nigroth, the Goddess of Vertility. Pretty cool, super rare, secret rare. Pretty nice. And we've got Gertherta, the Tear of Passion as a rare, too. Pretty cool looking card, too. I like the colors on that one. A few more packs here. And then I'll guess on which one's held the most value from our rares and super rares that we got. All right, Haster, the Unspeakable. Cool Haster's in here. Awesome. Another uh, Lovecraftian theme there. All right, what we got in this one? Phantasm, the Milky Way, Black Goats, and the Hound of Tendalos. Oh, pretty sick looking. Just a rare, but he's pretty neat. And more uncommons. All right, last pack of the Force of Will for now. We'll open up the rest of them next week, so let's see what we get in this one. Black Goats. And Genesis Creation as our rare, pretty cool looking card. Flamestone, and that's it. All right, so we're gonna open up this collector booster pack right after this. I think these are our good pulls of the day from the Force of Will box. Split Heaven Earth, I've heard is pretty good. I don't know about that one. I think this one's a decent one to pull. I gotta check the rarity of the red one. That might be the most common one is red, and I think there's a blue and like a green. Uh, and then we got the Snow Queen. She might be worth a few bucks. So totals up on screen now. Uh, hopefully we did all right. That's just half the box. We'll open up the next half next week, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, let's get into this Collector Booster. All right, this Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster Pack. Got a decent deal on this at Target the other day, so I figured I'd pick it up and try our luck here on this thing. See if we can't get that Borderless Foil Oko or something crazy. You know, the most expensive card in freaking standard right now. Tunville Tree is a showcase, nice. Oh, a nice foil opt. Curious Pair Showcase. Nice. I haven't seen that one yet. There's a normal version of the one we just pulled. Embreath Shield Breaker. Pretty cool. Smitten Sword Master. Showcase. Sweet. Oh, Alkalite Showcase. Sweet. Oh, some Unicorn Showcase. All right. First Rare Workshop Elders. Man, I haven't even seen that bulk rare. This is obviously a bulk, but I've never even seen that one. Doom Foretold as our first orderless card. Not foil, just uh, just regular. Don't know how much that one goes for, though. Fervent Champion as our foil rare. That's a great pull, actually. I like that. That should be worth a few bucks. And a boar. 
So I don't think we did too terrible. The Fervent Champion should go for a few bucks at least, but uh, I don't think we made our money back, that's for sure. So I still uh, don't think the Collector Booster Packs are very worth it, in my opinion, unless you're seriously pulling all those Okos, which you're extremely lucky if you do. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you did and want to see more. Make sure to subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.